It's already been leaked. The decision is coming down. That's right. I'm talking about the Supreme Court of the United States is going to give us a decision on Roe versus Wade. First, you should know what Roe versus Wade was about. It's very important for us to understand the current dynamic, and you're going to have to make a decision on what side you fall on. Now, abortion is an extremely controversial issue because we're talking about life, and there are so many opinions about when life starts and what life is. The state of Texas had a law that said abortions were illegal unless it was endangering the health of the mother. In Roe versus Wade, an individual came forward and said, you are stealing my right to decide. And the Supreme Court had to make a decision. Did Texas have the right to make this decision or did the individual have the right and was Texas stealing it away? Now, Roe versus Wade said there are some very important decisions in our life that need to be decided on the federal side. This is too important to leave it to a state. So that Supreme Court leaned towards privacy rights of the individual. And it said the individual rights trump state rights. But what it did is it put the power in the hands of the federal government, which conflicts with state rights. But when it comes down to the central legal issue that's happening here, we're gonna talk about something that's very important for your life and really your country. What's gonna happen now is we're gonna see a difference in legislation. That means the way and direction the country goes is going to take itself from control on the federal side to control on the state side. What is the current Supreme Court looking at from a constitutional issue? They are seeing this as a miscarriage of the original constitution. Why? Well, if you read the leaked opinion, what you know is that abortion does not appear in the Constitution of the United States. Now, if you haven't done your homework, you might say to yourself, well, maybe abortion wasn't around. The Supreme Court tracked abortion back to the beginning of recorded history. We're talking 4,000 or more years. What is the decision that this Supreme Court is leaning on? This Supreme Court considers themselves to be strict constitutionalists. What that means is they want to interpret the Constitution of the United States word for word. They don't want to take anything away from it, and they don't want to add anything to it. Well, that's a very interesting proposition because all of our legal decisions are interpretations of laws. That's what courts do. So in Roe versus Wade, the Supreme Court interpreted privacy rights and made a decision that the 14th Amendment extended to the concept of abortion. The Supreme Court, in this case, they favor state rights. They favor the right of a state to make a decision for its people. This falls into all kinds of issues. When you think about the ramifications of federal decisions versus state right decisions, and you think about our federal laws and how they apply, you're gonna go all the way back and you're gonna realize that almost every regulation that we have comes on a federal or a state level. And right now, the Supreme Court is trying to push those decisions towards a state level. The real question you have to ask is, do you agree with the Supreme Court that this is a state's right issue or a privacy rights issue? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. We wanna hear what you have to say.